Well, good day, everybody. My name is David Clark from the United Kingdom. Here, the Trojan horse visits Benguet Provincial Jail near Baguio City, the mountain province of Benguet in the Philippines. Uh, Come today, have come from Mountain Lupa City Jail. Kami na narito ngayon ay galing pa sa Mountain Lupa sa New Believe the Prison Maximum Security Compound. You may know that this is one of the most notorious jails in the Far East. It is a terrorist jail, and some of these men will end up in the national penitentiary from where we had come. And maybe some of you guys are bound to go there, and some of the things are probably true. But we have come to tell you, if you go there, there are many good men there to help you. And one of the men here is Pollock, Dr. Pollock, we call him, who's just spoken. William Pollock was our sent man. He had been to this prison on his release, having served 14 years for homicide in New Bilibib Maximum Security Prison, the National Penitentiary in Montelupa City. And after five years in that prison, having a very bad time, Learning to survive by his own wits. The Lord Jesus came to help him, and he learned the good news of the gospel from the good men that are in New Bilibid prison, from the Christian workers that go there. And William Pollock learned who Jesus is. He was baptized and followed Jesus, and is now a preacher of the gospel. And that is why he's here. He's come to share with you the way of salvation. And in accordance to his remit, to tell these men of his conversion from crime to Christ and to tell them the way. He was commissioned by Trojan Horse International to do this in August 2002. We're no better than you. Some of our crimes may be worse than you. But we extend our hand to friendship to you. We welcome you. We come to say hello, friends. And we come to share with you the good news that God wants to save you. But God wants to give you courage. He wants to make you strong so that you can help the weak. I don't know your crimes, but if you're a terrorist, you've learned a way of life that others don't know yet. But we want to turn your lives around so you can help the young people not to go the bad way. Now, we published a book called Trojan Warriors. If you notice the testimony of Dr. Pollock, that was published on the 9th of September 2001. This book, Trojan Warriors, was published on the 11th of September 2002. The significance is this. On September 11th, 2002, terrorists flew aircrafts into the Twin Towers in New, in New York. The terrorists were moved by the same spirit of you guys. And we have come to show you a more clear way. We have learned this. That if we educate a car thief, he will use his education to steal an aircraft. And then he'll fly his aircraft in between towers. Now, we don't want to do that, do we? We'd be crazy to do that, wouldn't we? But we do know this, if you are a criminal, you are very intelligent. And to help you get on in the world, we want to give you an education. Because if you educate a reformed man, he can be a leader of men, a teacher of good things, a teacher of righteous things. And my Jesus wants to make you men preachers of the gospel. For the good news of Jesus Christ delivers them. And so peace comes, swords are turned to plowshares, and so the wolf also shall lay down with the lamb, and the leopard shall lay down with the kid, and the calf, and the young lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. Isaiah 6, verse 11.